Well, hello folks and welcome to part four of the 2008 Dodge Ram 1500 differential rebuild. This is a, an exploded view of the Eaton Detroit True Track differential carrier. As you can see, this is a helical uh, gear design, no clutch packs to wear out. Here are the parts that we have ordered and that we're going to reassemble and put back into this differential. So first I ordered from USA Standard Gear, this package, and no, it's not pizza. It comes in a nice uh, blister pack, which I like. Rocky, you can have that pizza box if you want. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, some seals. These two seals go on the rear axles. These two bearings are for the rear axle. These two bearings, one goes here, and one goes on the other side. Got some shims here, if we need them to go in here, between the bearings to set the preload. We have a pinion gearing large and a pinion gear small, and a pinion seal that goes on the front, goes in front of the drive shaft. This is just the bearing race I've already removed this old uh, cage and bearing so I can get to that with the bearing puller. But tomorrow we'll pull that, we'll press this back on, and we'll start building this thing out. Then we have over here, we have a crush sleeve. This crush sleeve goes between the two pinion bearings to set the preload. We've got a new washer and a new nut. This is the old nut, it was all one piece. I'm going to use that nut to press off this bearing race. Here's the ring gear. It bolts on to the new Eaton Detroit True Track differential. They gave us a gasket and they gave us all these new bolts. New bolts for the ring gear because they get torqued to a certain spec and you don't want to reuse those. This is a little trinket that goes into this uh, gear when it's all done. Uh, it separates the two axles when they come in. This goes in behind that with a snap ring. So these three components are, are made to hold the axles inside of this housing. And we'll again reuse these C-clips on the axles. You'll see that later as well. So, and they gave us some marking paint and a paintbrush. We use that paintbrush to um, paint on the yellow paint and check the gear mesh. That's in a nutshell all of the parts it's going to take to go back together with. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, or dissent. You've been watching the Junkyard Tailgate channel. Good day.